Hello. In this video, we're going to trace out the selection sort algorithm. In a future video, we'll trace through some Java code that implements the algorithm. Before watching this video, you're going to want to make sure you have a basic understanding of arrays. For more information on that topic, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. Some important facts. Selection sort is an iterative sorting algorithm. Selection sort breaks a list up into a sorted and an unsorted portion. When an index is to be added to the sorted portion of the list, the algorithm searches for the smallest number in the unsorted portion and then swaps the values. Let's look at this unsorted array. For now, the algorithm is going to treat the entire list as an unsorted portion. As we sort portions of it, the background will turn green. The algorithm keeps track of the current minimum value in the unsorted portion of the list and also keeps track of what index it is currently checking. We set the minimum at the beginning of the unsorted portion of the list to start. Then we start checking at the next index in the unsorted portion of the list. We see, is this index smaller than the current minimum? It's not, so we move on. Now we check, is this index smaller than the current minimum? It is not. We check, is this index's value smaller than the current minimum? It is not. Now we'll check, is the final index value smaller than the current minimum? It is not. So we've reached the end of the list. We can determine that this is the minimum value. Even though it is in the correct place, the algorithm will end up switching the value with itself, so 3 will still end up in index 0. Now, we've sorted index 0, so we're going to turn this green. We'll next set index 1 as the current minimum, then we'll check index 2. We'll see, is index 2's value smaller than the current minimum's value? It is, so we move the current minimum to index 2. Next, we check index 3, and we check to see if its value is smaller than the current minimum. It is not, so we continue. We check index 4, and we see is its value smaller than the current minimum. It is not. We've reached the end of the array, so now we're going to swap the first index in the unsorted portion of the array with the current minimum. Now we've completed the sorting of index 1, so we mark this as part of the sorted portion. Next, we set the current minimum to the beginning of the unsorted portion of the list, in this case index 2. Then we check index 3 to see if the value is smaller than the current minimum, which it is. So we move current minimum to index 3. Then we check, is index 4 smaller than the current minimum? It is. So we move current minimum to index 4. We've reached the end of the list, so we swap the current minimum index with the beginning of the unsorted portion of the list. Now we've completed sorting up through index 2, so we can mark it green. Now we're going to set index 3 as the current minimum. We're going to check index 4 to see if it is smaller than the current minimum. It is not. So now we swap index 3 with itself and mark it as part of the sorted portion of the list. With a selection sort, we don't have to sort the last value, because if every other value is in the correct place, then we know the last value will be 2. So the algorithm will just assume that the last index is sorted. For further reading on the selection sort, please type selection sort Wikipedia into Google and choose the first result, or go to this web address. To see the next video in this curriculum, please click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.